Not many companies have a legacy as long and colorful as the Alaska Commercial Company. It's not just a retail store within Alaska. It is an entity that is woven into the history of Alaska itself. In 2017, the Alaska Commercial Company celebrates 150 years of service to the Alaskan people. It also marks 150 years since the United States purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire. Some of the earliest examples of the adventure companies include the Canadian Hudson Bay Company, founded in 1640, and the Russian American Company, founded in 1776, which was the direct predecessor of the Alaska Commercial Company. So Northwest Company itself was uh, part of a larger company called the Hudson Bay Company, which goes back to the fur trade era, and they competed against the Russian American Trading Company. So all these great fur trading companies the Northwest Company, the Hudson Bay Company, the Russian American Trading Company, and then the Alaska Commercial Company were rivals at one time, which is kind of a, a cool historical fact. Uh, the history of Alaska is intimately tied in with the history of Alaska Commercial Company. Even before there was a territory of Alaska, if you want to get technically technical about it, we're celebrating 150 years of Alaska Commercial Company, but we could very easily be celebrating 241 years of our company because it goes back to the Russian American company which was founded in 1776. And some of the stores that we operate in today, you know, go back almost that far. With the creation of the Alaska Commercial Company, retail policy changed dramatically for customers. The Russian American company placed limits on what people could buy and didn't offer customers choice. But the Alaskan Commercial Company changed this they brought in much bigger variety of products to choose from, and it gave Alaskans an incredible amount of purchasing freedom they didn't have before. This new way of doing business also greatly improved the quality of life for the natives of Alaska. For the first time, Alaskan natives could purchase almost any item from the ACC trading posts and village stores. Before the ACC formed, they were banned from buying things they needed, including essentials like flour, cloth, and sugar. And they always treated people, whether they were First Nations people or, or folks that were coming up, you know, searching for gold or trying to find other riches, they all treated them the same and they took care of people. And that customer service, you know, carries through to, you know, how we view our markets and how we treat our people today. And that's, a, you know, that's a, a legacy of the Alaska Commercial Company. I think because we've built up loyalty with customers and stuff over the years, everybody trusts us as, as a business and stuff. Um, we've been in markets a lot of places longer than a lot of the community members. The Alaska Commercial Company was also a pivotal force during Alaska's famous gold rush days starting the late 1800s. Because of their large fleet of ships, they were able to transport hordes of gold seekers from the west coast of Canada and the USA to the gold fields of Nome and the interior. The company served as a bank and did what it could by extending credit to customers to help them get by. Very little cash was used to make purchases in those days. Customers traded pelts, gold, fish, and whatever might hold value to other customers. You know, the company during the gold rush days uh, would extend credit to people, you know, knowing that they wouldn't get paid back, but they wanted to prevent people from, being, from starving to death and the rest. Throughout its history and into modern times, Gacy has always been more than just a store to the community. They are a community gathering point. There's a, just this innate human need to connect and be with each other uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, to be in the store or in the, uh, the town office or any other gathering point, the post office. And we find that our stores, our staff, our management and our customers just have this, this bond and to me it's about human scale, community retailing. We are the center of the communities and most of our communities, our stores are the hub. They're the, they're the meeting place, they greet their relatives there. They, it's, a, it's a social, it's actually a social event when they come to the grocery store. I love to come here and get a coffee in the morning or a donut and I just get to socialize around with the friends from town. It's more than just a grocery store, it's more than just a store to go and purchase your daily needs. We, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of interaction on a daily basis between all the members in the community. Yeah, we come here, we have coffee and discuss the local, uh, the local <laughs> happenings. When we um, serve our customers, that we're serving the community. So the community is our customer. And uh, then on the side, we just sell groceries. Um, we're involved in the communities. We are part of the communities. And in return for um, 
their patronage, we return to the community through various forms of uh, support, time, money, effort, um, to worthy causes within the community. So we are a true community member. You know, from little donations here and there to big events, like the Relay for Life, which we just did, where we walked all night. I had employees there uh, around the clock uh, just supporting that, and the community just felt the love for that. We uh, went out to the avalanche area and picked out the rocks and brought them in. We painted them ocean blue. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. The city manager come down and compliment us. You know, the fishermen come by and you know, they, they appreciate that. We appreciate their efforts. I mean, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy the bakery deli in general. But uh, the customers is what keeps you going here. I mean, how many other places can you say, oh yeah, I work for a company that's going on their 150th year anniversary? Not very many out there. You know, that it's a very trusted company, I believe, and we're very, very family oriented. The store, every, every day, much better. Clean, personality, everybody's talking with another one. Oh, the best service in town. We're pretty good at what we do. Um, we are serving markets that are difficult to reach as far as getting the goods and the merchandise in. Um, operating in conditions, harsh weather, uh, sometimes diff difficult uh, labor forces, and we've been able to pick our niche, basically, um, and so it works for us. Uh, we offer a really good variety of different items in the store. There's distinctly a need uh, for quality, and AC has provided that. You know, just making the store better each and every day. Uh, you know, just from the sales floor being on the cell, sales floor, talking to the customers, um, you know, getting to know them. It's all about getting to know the customers. It has been able to fill the needs of Bush, Alaska for many, many years. I love AC. Are you kidding? I love it. The Alaska Commercial Company has taken great pride in providing essential products and services to the people of Alaska over the past 150 years. Yeah, it's just really nice to be a, a part of, of today's history and, and writing that for the future and just an honor. You know, we continue to strive to improve and I think that's what's important for AC. We just continue to look for more opportunities, better opportunities to improve the lives of the people that we serve. I think the term pioneer merchants that we use, it's been part of our, our history and our identity, is very appropriate and aligns completely with the history of Alaska. There probably never has been or will be as pioneering a state as Alaska. We're very proud to be part of that and we think the pioneering description of the state and of our company go hand in hand and bode well for the future of Alaska and ACC. Our history is the history of Alaska, and we look forward to serving our communities for many years to come.